The next thing we need to talk about in terms of Scripture in Vatican II is the notion of uh, inspiration and inerrancy. And, and here is how Vatican II begins that discussion. Those divinely revealed realities which are contained and presented in sacred Scripture have been committed to writing under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. For Holy Mother Church, relying on the belief of the Apostles, holds that the books of both the Old and the New Testaments in their entirety with all their parts are sacred and canonical because written under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They have God as their author and have been handed on as such to the Church herself. In the previous video, we said that the Bible's words reveal the true meaning of God's deeds in history. And this is where we need to bring in the concept of inspiration because how could the biblical authors know? How could Moses or St. Paul or King David Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, how could they know the meaning of God's deeds? How could they see things from God, God's perspective unless he somehow made it known to them or manifested it, it to them? So, it is uh, God the Holy Spirit who inspires the biblical authors. And we'll talk a bit more about inspiration in a second. But every part of the Bible is inspired. Um, every part of it is inspired. So, you know, different genres that are used, that's fine. But the idea is that the whole book, from beginning to end, is ultimately the work of the Holy Spirit, first, and human beings, second. The last thing to note is that Scripture was passed on from Jewish generation to Jewish generation, and then from Christian generation to Christian generation, as inspired writing. You know, it's not like, you know, uh, J.K. Rowling, you know, shoots out the, those uh, Harry Potter books, all 4,000 pages, and then 200, 200 years later, people are like, Hey, that was pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's call it inspired. No, the idea was that this was something that was handed on for years as something that was, uh, was inspired by God. That doesn't mean that it never underwent any kind of editing or translation, uh, because those can be important issues. But the idea is that in the forming of the canon, that, that the text that's handed on to the church from, uh, the, its Jewish roots, its Jewish history, is that whole process has been guided by God himself. And so what we end up with is the product that God desires. Now Vatican II said a bit more about what inspiration means. In composing the sacred books, God chose men, and while employed by him, they made use of their powers and abilities so that with him acting in them and through them, they as true authors consigned to writing everything and only those things which he wanted. Okay, so basic idea here, the Bible was written by humans, that there are real human authors using their human skills and their human vocabulary and their human style. You know, so if God decided that he was going to inspire the theology department to write a new Bible, and it really was the Holy Spirit working in us, the gospel according to Father Manco is going to look different than the gospel according to, uh, you know, Mr. Paulette or uh, Miss White. Because we have different uh, writing skills, we have different vocabulary, just a different style. And he can use all of us as inspired instruments, but all the pieces are going to sound like Paulette or White or Monco, given the author. It's not, it's not like we become like possessed or something and we're some, you know, puppet on a string and, and God starts to use us in that way where our whole will is gone. No, no. The last thing here, everything they wrote was inspired. Now I want to give you uh, an example of inspiration and, and uh, how it works. So let's say that uh, Leonardo da Vinci and I are going for a walk in the countryside and we both run across this beautiful horse. Okay, look at that, pretty horsey. And we're both inspired in the ordinary human sense. I don't mean by God, but just think of the ordinary sense where, oh, I got inspired to do something, you know, write a poem or read a book or go for a run or whatever. Okay. Leonardo and I, we see this beautiful horse and we're inspired to use our artistic talents to make something. So Leonardo da Vinci, being a very skilled man, uh, ends up creating this giant uh, bronze, cast bronze horse. Uh, and this is an actual historical sculpture made by Leonardo. It's ginormous and fantastic. And, and he's inspired because he, of the beauty of the horse. Well, I see the beautiful horse, and I use all my strength and creativity and skill to do this. Okay. So, 
that's because I'm not talented enough to do this. But I am really inspired. It's like something has struck me and something is moving me. And, and it's my free choice too, like my free choice is involved here. But it's an inspired free choice.